Hey everyone, Luis Fedoya with Charles with Denver Realty. I'm gonna make a video of this property. My gimbal's not working today. This is listed at $375,000. It's an 1,100 square foot home, three bedroom, two bathroom, 617 Fifth Avenue Southeast, Largo right next to the Largo Central Park. We do have a car right next to us that is making a little bit too much noise, but we're gonna continue with our video and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this property. So stay tuned, like and subscribe if you have questions, reach out to me, I'm always happy to talk to you. Very good value add option. Let's go ahead and show it to you guys. Well guys, I was thinking I was gonna put music over this one, but I don't have a gimbal today. So let's do it all school style. Let's do an all school video. As you can see, it's a peaceful neighborhood. There is no HOAs here, obviously. So some of the houses are not gonna have a nice landscape. This is a blue collar neighborhood. Houses sitting here between 300, 400,000, $450,000. And this is a good value add option that you, we can come in and remodel. Okay, so we do have a one car garage. We got the two windows and entrance. This is on a corner lot. Once again, I've already got the door open for the property. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. And again, I apologize. We don't have a gimbal today. So it's going to be a little bit shaky. All right. So let's just take a quick look at this area. All right. It's the view from the house. Okay, and then we're gonna come in here. We got a bit of an elevation change. This is not a huge deal. All right, so we come into the house. We got a little bit of a space here and a door with some glass on it. Seems like some vinyl floors, popcorn ceilings ceiling fan living room and dining room right here we got kitchen to my right bedrooms to my left and patio in front of me okay so the bedrooms are right here let's go ahead and take a look at back here so here's the view of where i just came on where i just came in and i see one two three four doors first one is a bathroom Okay. Those obviously will need to be cleaned, the grounds. You could change the sink, change, maybe repaint that cabinet. And here's your bathtub. Definitely operational. I think it works. We got another room right here. Okay, so we do have the different floors, the new vinyl floors that they installed. Okay, we got the ceiling fan. Let's go ahead and take a look at that with the popcorn ceiling. And we have updated windows in this room with a closet. So this would be room number one. Then we come in here. Again, we have the bathroom right here on our right. And we got another room, some storage space. This room seems like a master bedroom. So I'm gonna just show you a little bit of the view. Looks out to the pool. And we have a bathroom and a closet. So let's take a look at the closet to see what the space looks like. Get some light in here. This is right. It's not too small, not too big. We have a bit of a nicer ceiling fan and we do have upgraded windows on this one. Then we come in here, find a master bathroom. So again, we clean up the grouts, a little bit of cleaning here as well, as you can see, will be needed. Nothing major, repainting. We got some different paint colors here. Here's what the toilet looks like and the sink, the cabinets. I think this could be repainted. 
no need to remove the paint, the, the cabinets. And I don't see much of a, I mean, you can already see a little bit of humidity here, but I don't think this is too, too bad. Now, these holes on here, they kind of look like they had to fix this at one point. They had to do some work in here. So we need to make sure, like, make sure that this house wasn't flooded at one point, that these floors are not brand new because this got flooded and they needed to replace them. That's important. And we will look at the seller's disclosure to make sure that's okay. So if you got to this point in the video where you hear me talk about the floors and the seller's disclosure, make sure you comment on that. Let me know what you think on this video. Okay, I wanna know how many people get to this point of the video. Here we got another window with the ceiling fan. Smaller room for sure. This is the third bedroom. It does have a closet right here. It looks outside, just like the other one on that side. So we have one, two, and master bedroom being the third one right here. Okay. I would say this space is perfect for a bunk bed. Okay, so you can have a bunk bed or a single bed or a full. Obviously here we can have a, a king or two queens will also work. And then on this space, this space right here, we're gonna do two fulls, even two bunk beds maybe, or another queen. So we really need to look at the space and see what we, what we can accommodate, what we're trying to get to. Let's look at the rest of the house so we can complete this tour. They took out this sliding glass door and they connected the square footage of this Florida room, okay? So before we get into this Florida room and this elevation change, let's take a look at the kitchen. And again, a little bit of the living room. So we got living room entrance and then you get the kitchen back here. I was thinking maybe we can tear down this wall and hopefully open up the kitchen so people can sit here, maybe have a bay but we don't know if this is a weight bearing wall. So we'll need to find out as well as new granite. You do need new granite. This is not outdated granite, new backsplash. And I guess since you're already doing the granite and there's really not that much wood here other than these cabinets that you're seeing here, you might as well just remove and reinstall wood, but it doesn't look so bad. This wood doesn't look so bad to me. This looks decent. I think this wood might might be okay to hold on to. For sure. It feels good. So if you're able to set up countertops and you're okay with putting the new countertops on the older cabinets, that's an option. Or we just replace both of them. And in terms of amenities, I mean, um, utility, fixtures and appliances, This may work. This Whirlpool, microwave and oven, stove thing, fridge in the back and washer and dryer. I think this could work. I don't think you need to update this right away. It would be nice to have updated ones in the future, of course. And I just noticed that there's a little bit of a, like who, who came up with this? I don't know, looks really weird and silly. But anyways, we have a little window here in the kitchen. We got a single sink. So it'd be nice to have the two, two side sinks. And as I just said, I believe this wood might be able to work. Now this looks really bad down here. If you see that, you see the difference in the level. So this looks like some, possibly some humidity, maybe, but we'll have to check on it. We can bring a little tool and test it out and see what's going on with the humidity on these floors. Look, so this isn't, this isn't a, a, to me, it's not a deal breaker. And if we get it at the right price, and if you have the ability to turn it into the right thing you want to, then it might just make sense. Now, this is not a lot for Airbnb. This is a, a hazard, hazard trip hazard. I mean, um, electrical hazard. So there's very likely you're gonna need to replace or re-update this 
Um, some of the roof and ceiling, sorry, is coming off. There is a hole here. So, not really sure what's going on here with this attic and why it's all ripped off like that. Is, is it a deal breaker? Maybe, but it might, might just be a cosmetic thing that we can take care of. Not sure why it is that way. It's really weird. Honestly, it doesn't, I don't wanna say it's because of humidity because I don't see any signs of water, but yes. Okay, so here we go. You got some leaks right there. So very likely this was removed because of mold. So you gotta make sure that our inspector takes a look, whatever the heck is going on there. And I'm seeing some humidity. I think this spot right here is some humidity. If you can see it, let me see if I can bring the phone up there. I am not sure, but from here, no, I, might, I think it's just paint. Sorry guys, I'm confused. That is just white paint. Somebody painted something around that. So that's not humidity. I take it back, but this looks really odd. And that is humidity for sure, in my opinion. Okay. We got our water heater. Most likely we'll need replacing. HVAC right here. Have to have that checked out by a professional. And let's see what's out here real quick. Uh, there's no glass here. There's no glass here. AC. Outdoors. Sorry guys, got a call and cut off the video. Amana heating and air conditioning. I think it's the same as HVAC in there. And we got back to the to the pool equipment and the patio out there. So let's go ahead and get back in the house and come out that way and show you around. But a little bit about the fence. Here in Florida, we do have very sandy soil. So it's common for things to sink down. Things like fences and stuff. They do sink down a little bit. Sometimes you might see your AC changing on elevation as well. It's because it's a very sandy soil. This is all sand. Majority of it, most of it is sand. Although dirt is coming out. You can see the sand up there. Anyways. You look at the exterior here. Okay. Let's go back in. This is a very safe neighborhood and community. And here's another layer of security. So everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this one both ways. So this one is secured. So we got again, fridge, different paint going on here, ceiling fan, very little space. I would like to open this up eventually if it's possible, maybe make a bay, set up new uh, backsplash, new countertops and obviously handles and repainting the cabinets. But we do have the window there already. We come back out here and we know already we have the bedrooms, entrance, living room, and we have the Florida room. There should have been a sliding glass door here at one point, took it out, made this a different space. So here's a little bit of an elevation change. It feels nice enough. Um, here's an AC. I think with creativity, it could be turned into a great space. Um, potentially break 80K. I mean, the pool is not so bad and it just needs a little bit of touch. I think it could be made nice, but it's, it's a risk. It's a chance that somebody will be taking on this and it depends on your ability to get this done. Um, and, you, and your ability to, to fix things like this, you know, are you really willing to take a chance on something like this or do you want something that's more turnkey? Really depends on you, really depends on you. All right, so I wanna make sure that you're selecting something that you're gonna be able to manage, that it's the both best optimal, most optimal option for you, according to your skill set. Maybe you have experience furnishing properties. Maybe you have experience managing properties. Maybe you have ideas of how to paint or how to set up the backyard. 
So those are the things that we need to capitalize on. Okay, and stay away from any sort of liability or high risk item within our decisions. Okay, so here we are. We got a little pipe coming out of here the ground. Don't know what that is. It's a trip hazard that needs to be covered up. But again, this is there are some meat and bones out here. There are definitely some meat and bones out here. Could have a outdoor shower here. Gazebo maybe or lounge chairs. We got a shed back there. Probably will need a new vinyl fence. This amount of space is probably about five, six thousand dollars worth of fencing. Okay, if you want to go vinyl. Uh, vegetation wise, we do have a tree up there that's dropping a ton of leaves back into our pool. So either we set up a, an enclosure or we disclose it on our Airbnb that there are trees and, and this is just going to be coming. Pool is going to need some cleaning up for sure. I'm not sure if that need, needs painting. I think it only needs cleaning. I don't think that the surface is coming up and needs resurfacing or anything like that. And here's the plot of the pool right now. I would say it's a nice pool. It's a nice space. For sure it is. I think a lot of the value of this house is here, right here in this pool. Okay. So here's the space. You can have some extra, maybe a fireplace out here in a barbecue grill. For sure a fireplace. Right. Maybe make a sitting area or a garden. So, in my opinion, we have a good pool. We need to work around the area. We need to work on that um, Florida room. We need to just patch up all the details and all the little things here and there. It's a smaller home, it's 1,100 square foot. So that's, that needs to be kept in mind. Hey, I hope this video helps. Sorry we didn't have the gimbal today. But I really hope this helps. Nice vegetation. If you have questions, make sure you let me know. You reach out to me. Um, this is going directly to a private investor as a private link. And if there's no interest or, you know, they, my clients decide to pass on that particular opportunity, then this video will become public which means you're watching it on the YouTube channel. But right now, today, this video is going to be forwarded to the person that's interested in this house. It's probably going to be a matter of hours before they get the link to this actual video that I'm recording right now. So again, if you want to work with an agent that's going to make sure you get eyes on your property right away and get this done in a way that is private and secures your interest, on a property as such, please make sure you reach out to me. Again, for my clients, thank you so much for trusting me and working with me. I love working with each one of you, every single one of you. Look forward to speaking with you in the next week. Let me know if you have any questions, reach out and contact me. We have plenty of contractors. We have plenty of people that you can latch onto and use their services. So don't forget to ask, okay? And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for your follow and have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.